So there's a quick post about a young guy who ends up kicking his girlfriend to the curb after she went on a vacation with a whole bunch of dudes, one of the dudes she hooked up with in the past, even though he told her, I'm not comfortable with it, I don't like you doing that, blah, blah, blah. She went anyway, and he dumped her, which he should have. And of course, he's now being labeled a bad guy by many for doing such a thing. And there's a perfect example, guys, why it's so important you must, upon engaging in a new relationship with someone or beginning a new relationship, establish boundaries. What are your deal breakers and all that? And either the gal, because it's a men's channel, like, overwhelmingly, either she agrees to it or she doesn't agree to it. And if she does agree to it and then goes back on those boundaries, you have every right to end the relationship, period. And this goes for any relationship. Also, if a gal, you make clear something that's bothering you and she demonstrates through her words and actions that she doesn't care, also kick her to the curb and end the story. Because if you don't, you're going to be taken advantage of. Title. Am I the a-hole for not telling my girl I was going to break up with her if she went on vacation with male friends? And a shout out to Adam for sending me the short story. It says here, basically, my girl went on vacation with her male friends. I told this made me uncomfortable and didn't want her to go. By the way, she used to hook up with one of them before she met me. So, is she going on vacation? If she cares about you, right, why is she going on vacation with other people without the boyfriend here? That's a big red flag. And is it just her and all these dudes? If that's the case, monstrous red flag. And it was one of the dudes she used to hook up with? An even bigger red flag. What do you think is going to happen here? This is incredible disrespect. Now, what he should have done was, instead of saying, I'm uncomfortable with this, that simply is like, look, he, he should have established in the beginning, no going out on vacations and hanging out with dudes you hooked up with, or, or you get the point. He didn't do that. But he says uncomfortable. She didn't care at all. So, watch what happens. She told me to be fine, and they were like brothers to her. What is this? Some, uh, some, uh, you get the point, some West Virginia shit going on here? No offense to the West Virginia folks, but I hope you can get the joke here. Or maybe they, like, like a stepbrother that she was attracted to? I already made the decision to break up with her right then and there. But I wanted to get my stuff from her place before anything, and I figured I should do that while she's gone. Okay. Well, I would establish boundaries in the beginning, but he figured, all right, if I break up with her now, then I probably won't be able to get my stuff out of her place, so fine, I'll break up with her, but I'm going to go get my shit, and then I'll let her find out. Fair enough. You gotta protect your stuff. I also didn't want to break up over text or call, so I waited for her to come home and do it in person. I picked her up when she came back, dropped her off, and gave her the key to her place, and, and broke up with her. Well, you know what? He did it in person, and I guess he needed to do that for himself. The problem is, a lot of times they get the waterworks. She started crying, what I just tell you, and she figured it out, figured out because of the vacation. She kept saying that nothing happened. I told her she knew I wasn't comfortable with this, and she still went. Number one, of course she said nothing happened, and maybe nothing happened, but she still didn't give a crap about how he felt with the situation, and that's the end of it. You can't be in relationships, guys, with a gal that could care less about uh, what's important to you, etc., etc., she mentioned that I should have said that I'd break up with her if she went, and that she knew she never would have gone. Uh, I call BS on that. What probably would have happened was it would have been a whole fight with her saying, you're controlling, you're insecure, you don't trust me, blah, 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 blah. I would have went anyway, and then hooked up with a guy and said, you made me do that. You pushed me to do that. The, you know, no, no blame. Maybe it's possible she would have, if he would have walked away and meant it and scared her, she wouldn't have gone. But I'm thinking it would have been option A where she would have, you know, throw the, the, the whole in, you're insecure crap at him. I told her I didn't want to be controlling and threatened her with ending the relationship. We kept going back and forth over this for a while. Of course you're going to go round for round. You're not going to get anywhere. All right, here's your key. Best of luck. Thanks for the memories. I'm out of here. Next time, be more considerate of your boyfriends. And tell your brothers hello. He says, as an edit, uh, a lot of you been sharing. A lot of you all are assuming an awful lot here. Most of you are cool, but but to give you a bit more context, he says, number one, she never actually introduced me to these friends, even though I mentioned I wanted to meet them. She kept making excuses. Aha! Uh -huh. He never met any of them. I gotta tell you something, guys. If, if I had a girl and she was going on vacation with a bunch of dudes, not that that would happen. You can bet your ass I'm gonna know who they are. But then again, like that would really matter. Two. She never told me she used to hook up with her friend. I only found out because I found an old picture of them kissing when she was showing me some old travel pictures. Interesting that she kept that quiet. 
What a coincidence. Three, I was okay with their friendship until now. This was just too much for me. Well, it's one thing being acquainted with other dudes. It's another thing with hanging out with them, texting them, let alone going on vacation. And again, why did she want this dude to go on vacation with her? Right? Could he not get out of work? Or was just and, and was it her and just dudes or were there girls there? But regardless, it's not gonna work. Uh, most of y'all are cool, but I swear some of y'all act like cheaters don't exist. Did she cheat on me? Who knows? But at this point, I was sick of doubting. Well, there you go. He obviously can't trust her, and she doesn't care about his feelings, but you can't have a relationship if you don't have trust. Anybody who's been in a relationship knows this. So even if she didn't cheat on him, still, she didn't care. And the whole, I wouldn't have gone if you would have told me, that's a bunch of crap. So anyhow, guys, boundaries. Best always to establish in the beginning so there's no confusion. Clearly, he did not do that. But if someone clearly through their actions shows they don't care about you or what you want, your feelings, something you're strong about, then you have every right to break up with her. And this guy did. He broke up with her. He made sure he got his shit out of her apartment because his stuff would have been in the garbage disposal or her stomping and smashing it, but good for him. I just hope he doesn't take her back. Now some comments here to wrap this up. One guy says here, not the a-hole. Also, the fact that she claims she wouldn't have gone if she knew you'd break up doesn't make it any better. It makes it worse. It shows she doesn't care how it affects you unless it becomes a problem for her too. That is zero integrity and that's not long-term partner material. Partner. Fuck, his, she's his girlfriend. It should not take you uh, leaving or thinking about leaving for her to not dismiss your feelings. That is asinine. Another one. And then she went and faulted you for not giving her an ultimatum. Right. It's your fault you didn't give me an ultimatum. Not the a-hole at all. You handled it perfectly. It's very important to establish standards in a relationship and stick with them when the going gets tough. In other words, boundaries. In life, you will rarely receive validation from the other party for the heart for the hard choices you make. Be honest and clear enough with yourself to be able to validate yourself. Another one. If you had uh, let this go after telling her uncomfortable it made you, and she still went, you would uh, have set that tone that you are a doormat and she can be walked all over. Proud of you, bud. Right. Another guy says, I don't blame you. My ex went on vacation with a couple of dudes once. I'm not a controlling type or one to set much boundaries, and I don't feel like I have to. And then I found out six months later, she has slept with with them multiple times on vacation. Them, not one. Your boundaries are definitely warranted. See? Right here, this guy, he tried to be the good, trusting boyfriend. She went on vacation with dudes or a bunch of people where dudes were involved. And she was cheating on him with multiple guys. He learned. And one more. Not the a-hole. Uh, listen, listen, you told her how you feel and that you were uncomfortable with the situation. Not all of them can be like brothers since they, she previously hooked up with one of them and you don't hook up with your brother, LOL. You didn't try and force her to stay or give her an ultimatum that you'd break up with her if she goes, which could, would have been wrong. You express how you felt and decide to ignore that and go away. Go anyway. I get that she didn't want. To, I, I get that you uh, that she didn't think you'd break up with her for going and says if she knew she wouldn't have gone, but does, does that make it any better? She would have still gone. Come on. I don't think she still would have got, wanted to go, but just would have, wouldn't have have had out of fear of the relationship ending. Did she invite you on this vacation? Was it just her and the guys or others too? Would she have been okay if you went on the vacation with a bunch of girls, including one you used to hook up with without her? Anyway, if you went out with a bunch of chicks and one of the chicks you used to hook up with, do you think she'd be okay with that? I don't think so. Uh, unless that was giving her a free pass to hook up with other dudes. Regardless, you set your boundaries and she broke them. She didn't know this would be the consequence, but sometimes you have to live with the consequences of your actions. Well, it sounds like he didn't actually give boundaries. That's what I I think he said he was uncomfortable with, it, but that wasn't establishing boundaries like early on. This is why I say you must establish boundaries early on so there's no confusion. And that's that. But anyhow, he handled it right, ended it with her. She doesn't give a crap about him or his feelings, and it is pretty likely some uh, they were up to no good on her little vacation. So guys... Something you can learn from this story here.